What's up you guys, it's the boy and today I'm going to show you how to give this chalk effect to your photos in Photoshop. Now if you guys also have any tutorial requests then you can drop them in the comments below. We will surely try to create videos on those as well. Also if you want to keep learning how to create such cool things in Photoshop for free, then make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any more time of yours, let's get started. So this is the image to which I'll be giving the chalk effect. Now if you want to follow along the tutorial, then the download link for this image will be in the description below. So over here, let's first start by selecting the subject in the image. So for that, select quick selection tool. And then you can increase and decrease the size of the brush using the square bracket keys of your keyboard. And now using the quick selection tool, make the selection of the subject in the image. So now as you can see while making the selection, we have made some extra selection over here. Now if you want to deselect the selection, then all you need to do is press Alt or Options key on your Mac and a minus brush key will appear over here. After that using the brush, you need to hover over the areas which you want to deselect. Now again if you want to select something, then you need to release your Alt or Options key on your Mac and a plus brush will appear over there. Now after that using the brush, you need to make that selection. So like this way you need to make an accurate selection. So for that I will be zooming into the image and making a selection. So now once you are happy with the selection, after that you can click on add layer mask icon which will mask the current image with that of the selection. So as you can see only a selection has been remaining and the rest of the image has been masked out. After that you can right click on the layer mask and then select the option as apply layer mask. So now let's start with a chalk effect. So for that you need to make sure that your foreground and the background color are set to black and white and if they are not then all you need to do is press the D key of your keyboard in order to do that. And then you need to swap the foreground and the background color that is set the foreground color to white and then set the background color to black. Now in order to do that thing press the X key of your keyboard. So now as you can see our foreground color has been set to white color and then the background color has been set to black color. Now the next thing we need to do is go to filter and then select the option as filter gallery. After that let me just zoom out of the image in order to make it fit over here and then you need to expand that sketch folder and then select the option as charcoal filter. After that you need to set the charcoal thickness as around 2, set detail as around 5 and then set the light dark balance as around 45. After that you can click on OK. So now the next thing we need to do is open a blackboard image into a new document. So for that go to file and then select the option as open. After that you can select any blackboard image of your choice. Download link for the blackboard image I am choosing is in the description below and then click on the option open. And then you can go to your original document. After that using the move tool you need to drag this image to our blackboard image. So for that select move tool. And now using move tool you need to drag it as follows. After that press ctrl or command on Mac plus T in order to bring up the transform tool. And then you can scale up the image as follows. After that you can click on the stick icon in order to place it. Now you need to change the blend mode of this layer to screen. So as you can see after changing the blend mode to screen it has started to look like a chalk effect but as you can see the edges of the image are quite not visible. Now in order to solve that thing click on add layer style option and then select the option as stroke. After that you need to set the size of the stroke to 1 pixel, set position as center and then set the blend mode to dissolve. After that you can set the opacity as 80%, after that set the fill type as color and then click on the color icon and then set the color as white and then click on ok. Now let me show you the before and after of the stroke option. So this was the before and now this is the after. After that you can click on OK. So now as you can see now it is looking like a chalk effect. So yeah that's it guys that's the final limit. I hope you guys like this short video on how to give this chalk effect to your photos in photoshop. Now if you guys like this video then give us a thumbs up. It helps the youtube algorithm in spreading the video. Also you can share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos. And subscribe to the channel for more videos in photoshop. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.